We begin this morning with a major development in Israel's war against Hamas. Israeli troops have advanced into the heart of Gaza City. It comes after the Defence Minister announced that the leader of Hamas in Gaza, Yahya Sinwar, is isolated and surrounded in his bunker. This was Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu just moments ago. The city of Gaza is now surrounded. We are acting within the city of Gaza. We are deepening the pressure on Hamas hourly, daily. Up to this point, we've killed so many terrorists, both on the ground and underground, amongst which great murderers who have planned and and operated the murderous 7th of October. Since we started invading into Gaza, we've destroyed many headquarters, tunnels, bases, and other facilities belonging to Hamas. Hamas is now discovering that we are coming into places they never thought we will. And we are continuing. I now arrive from our uh, soldiers at bases Elim, some of which spent time around Gaza fighting so bravely during the first days of the war. And then, with the same intensity and heroism, they fought in the north of Israel. And they are now preparing themselves to get into the Gaza Strip with two amazing advantages on their side. The first of which is the lessons that the IDF is making very systematically and wisely from the, our actions within Gaza. And these lessons are improving even more the consequences of the fighting. At the north of Israel, we are both uh, on, the, on the offensive and on the defensive. We are protecting our borders. We will not accept such a reality where Hezbollah and Hamas sitting in Lebanon would be hurting our citizens in the north of Israel. Israel. We will retaliate with fire on any one of their attacks. We have attacked many of their uh, attacking points, and uh, we have killed many terrorists. And I am telling you once again, if Hezbollah is starting to take part in this war, if they choose to take part and become part of this war, they will be making the mistake of a lifetime. When it comes to the hostages, I spoke to the president of the Red Cross, and I demanded that the Red Cross will operate in order to release our hostages immediately according to the to the international law. Also, I demanded that the Red Cross would immediately go visit all those hostages in order to make sure that they are healthy and they're well. So that was uh, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu confirming that uh, Israeli troops were now in the heart of Gaza City. That was about half an hour ago and we will have more reaction on that soon.